Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 17. And in this tutorial, we are moving on from building our website header finally. So uh, let's go ahead and just move that over to the testing on quality control uh, column. And uh, definitely we'll take a look at this towards the end of the build. Maybe just get one of our friends or another one of our colleagues to test the header. But for now, uh, there are some actual changes that I did between the previous tutorial and this one. So uh, one thing I did do was I added in my services page and my contact us page. So if you jump through the menu now, all of the pages are there and they're working. Uh, the code for them right now is exactly the same as the home page and the about page. So all I did was just copy all of this over and change the page IDs. And then also uh, I've got all of those page IDs set up in our menu uh, exactly like I showed you in the previous video. Uh, but for now, let's move on to actually building our website footer because that is our next task. So uh, taking a look at Asana over here, building our website footer is the next thing I have uh, going for us. And the first thing I want to do before I actually uh, get all into this build is just take a look at this in um, Photoshop and take a look at my design. Fortunately, I designed a really, really simple footer. So on the home page, I just kind of want uh, social media links to the right or yeah, to the uh, left and uh, copyright information to the right. And then uh, hmm, where did my footer go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it must have just uh, worked its way off the page somehow. Let's see. Ah, there we go. That's why. Um, hmm. Just put that back in position again. Right. And so for my mobile design, essentially what I want to do here uh, is have my social media links on the top and then my copyright information on the bottom. So that now I know more or less uh, what I'm looking for here. Let's, uh, let's start coding this. So I'm going to jump over to my text editor. Uh, and the great thing about this is we already have uh, included our footer across all of the pages. So we've got this include file set up. All I need to do now is open that footer file. And you can see I've already left the comment here to say footer will go here. So we're going to make sure that our footer is above the JavaScript uh, links here. Um, and yeah, uh, all I need to do now is start building in my footer. So let's, let's, let's not use a div here. Let's, uh, let's use a footer tag, right? And anything that I add into this footer. So let's just do a test um, should actually start displaying across all of our pages. So if I'm on the home page, here we have the test um, about page. So anything that I add to this file is now going to be on all of these pages, which is awesome. So we only have to build the footer once. Uh, and uh, yeah, instead of using test, let's actually uh, use some code that makes a little bit of sense. So what I'd like to do here is uh, use the exact same code that I have on my home page right now. Uh, and we're going to paste that in for the footer. So we're using the UK block and UK block secondary classes. Uh, so if you guys are unsure of what they do or what that does, um, jump back over to your browser, go over to get uikit.com or yeah. Uh, and then just take a look at the block section here. So uh, a default block is gray or sometimes gray. Uh, the primary block is whatever primary color you've chosen. And then you've got a secondary block, which is whatever secondary block you've chosen. Something else that is going to come in handy is this UK contrast class. So I'm going to just copy that class and paste that in here. And what this is going to do, um, the way that I've set up my, my file is it's going to turn all of the text white, uh, which is actually what we wanted for our Photoshop design as well. We wanted everything to be white. So uh, let's jump back over to uh, my code over here and save that with the UK contrast class as white. The next thing I want to do is uh, create another div in here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if we look at our design, our footer is within a container. So uh, that's exactly what I'd like to do here is just 
create a, a class with um, the uh, class UK container and then UK dash container dash center so that it centers my container. Uh, if this isn't here, of course, your content is gonna appear all the way to the left instead of uh, in the center. And then uh, I'd like to make use of something that is on Get UI Kit's website. If you go over to the grid component, um, essentially what we'd like to do here is we'd like to split our footer up into two parts. So we want one part that is left aligned, that's half the screen, and we want another part that is uh, right aligned, that's the other half of the screen. And that is of course uh, going to make our footer. So that's the one half and that's the other half, right? Uh, so the way we do this is uh, if you take a look at UI Kit's example code, you use a UK grid uh, div just surrounding everything and then you can use whatever classes you'd like um, or whatever one of these classes you'd like uh, in the middle over there. So UK width one of two is going to give you half a screen and half a screen. If you do three and 10 and seven and 10, you've obviously got 30% and 70% um, or blocks that take up 30% and 70%. So I'm just going to copy all of this and uh, we can paste that in here, right? And I know I'm doing a lot of copy pasting, but it's just fortunately the documentation is that good. And also everything I've planned seems to line up with the documentation uh, quite well. Uh, and now uh, what I'd like to do here is obviously put in uh, the follow us text. So for our social media, and then obviously we're gonna put our links in there. And then for the next part, we're also going to put in a uh, our copyright info. So I'm gonna type uh, and copy semicolon. Uh, and if you guys are unsure of what this does, uh, this creates a copyright symbol. Um, this is actually HTML notation for a copyright symbol. And uh, thanks Java, I don't really want to do an update right now. I'm in the middle of a tutorial, please don't bug me. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Uh, now we can create our copyright. So let's just put in the copyright information here, which I believe in Photoshop, I put copyright link travel 2017. So let's just type that in here. Link travel 2017. And then for the follow us info, um, I think it's actually just gonna be better if we not try to have this div or these divs all on one line. Let's just, um, set up our code, right? Uh, so for the follow us link, what I'd like to do here is obviously create a link that's gonna to link to uh, social media. So we'll set that equal to hash for now and we'll end that link off. And then I wanna create an icon. So we're gonna be using the i tags and we'll give this a class of UK dash icon dash, uh, let's see, Twitter I think was first and then we can just copy this and paste that down a couple times and one can be Facebook and the other one can be YouTube dash play, right? And I think Facebook Facebook dash square uh, might give me a square Facebook icon, although that's actually not what I used in my design. So let's, let's stick to the, the stuff I have in my design. Uh, and let's save this now and jump back over to my browser and refresh uh, and hopefully right now you should have a, a footer that kind of looks like mine. Um, but to be honest, it is kind of distracting that we've got this stuff on the home page that um, uh, basically makes our footer look a little bit bigger than it's supposed to. Uh, so let's go over to our index file and instead of using UK uh, block secondary here, let's just change this to UK block primary. We are also gonna replace this text later on. Um, but for now, just so that we can see the difference between our footer and our header, um, let's come back here and refresh. And there we go. This is our actually our footer. That's our page content, the blue section. And there is our header. So something else I need to do here is make sure that all of this text aligns to the right because that's what I have set up in my design is that this text should align to the right. Uh, so 
let's jump back over to my text editor here and the footer file. And uh, if I go over to this div, I can just add in the class UK text dash right. Um, and this is a class that, I mean, uh, if you're wondering where I got it from, it's somewhere on, on UIKit's website. I think it might be under utility. Uh, let's say, let's see, uh, UK dash tech text center and UK text right. Um, these, these classes are just here for uh, alignment. So if you guys are ever wanting to learn how to align stuff or you, know, you wanna check out some stuff on their website, um, yeah, uh, it's, go ahead and do that, right? Uh, but I kind of know their website uh, really well right now. So uh, yeah, UK text right um, in this file, if I save it, should align this text to the right. So let's come back here and refresh. And ta-da, we now have our footer pretty much set up correctly. I think the only difference between the footer that we have now and uh, basically what we've got going on in our design here is, okay, the font weight is different, but the font weight is also different for our menu. So I think the fonts are something I'm gonna sort out a little bit later. But for now, to fix, uh, to fix the spacing, um, basically we've got too much padding. See here we've got a very little amount of padding and on our website over here, we've got a lot of padding. So I'd just like to bring that padding down. Uh, so I'm gonna open up my custom CSS file here and let's create a class called TM footer. And then I'm going to just uh, decrease my padding here. So let's give the pad this padding uh, padding top of uh, 20, let's do 20 pixels, and padding bottom of 20 pixels. And now all I need to do is take this class, copy that, make sure I save this file before I leave, and uh, put that class on our footer tag. So essentially on this footer tag over here, TM footer, um, and in fact, just to keep things tidy, maybe we can put it as the first class. Now the reason why I've called this TM footer is because we're gonna differentiate between our code and uh, UIKit's code. And I think if you use TM, uh, this in my head stands for theme footer. Uh, so this is my custom theme footer or custom theme footer code. Uh, and I'm just making sure that I've saved this and this and let's jump back over to the browser now and refresh. And it looks like our padding is not getting any less for some reason. So let's inspect element and figure out why. So there's the TM for the class. It's here. Uh, we've got some code UI kit, uh, UK block. Hmm. UK padding, right? It looks like my code hasn't actually pulled through here at all. That's interesting. Let's try add a little bit more CSS weight to this. So TM footer UK, UK block. So any item that has uh, both of these classes, let's let's uh, reduce the padding and let's see what happens. Uh, still not, let's just make sure that my custom CSS file is loading here. So there we've got the CSS file. Um, if I go over to sources, CSS, custom CSS. Ah, okay. So Google Chrome has cached this uh, CSS file and my changes haven't showed up. So I'm just gonna push uh, shift command and R and hopefully uh, that has now loaded the new code. So we've cleared the cache. And now, yeah, our footer is looking much, much better. It does look like there's too little padding now. So maybe we should change this to 25 and 25. 
and save this now and let's refresh okay and that that's looking much much better right uh, so now our footer has been set up correctly and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here uh, but before I do I just want to send a huge shout out to my current patrons so the guys whose names are on screen now uh, currently pledge five dollars or more every single month on patreon and that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys so if you do like the videos I make and you want to help me make more videos please don't be afraid to contribute on Patreon. And I guess if you can't cr contribute financially, then just subscribe, leave a comment, like and share this video because all of that stuff is gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.